So in today's video, we're going to be talking about plate solving. And uh, yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic feature which I've learnt over the past month or so. Um, it's a bit of a follow-up from my uh, how to control your mount with Stellarium and EQ mod video. Um, so basically it picks up from where you uh, align with you know, the home position and Polaris. Um, and then you would shift one to find the target that you want to image. And it'll roughly slew over to the target. With APT, you take a photograph, say 20 seconds, so you can find some stars. And then you plate solve that uh, image with point craft and a sort of catalogue of uh, stars and sort of a map of the sky. And then basically um, you synchronise that with APT and it'll automatically slew over to the image and centre it within two or three pixels. So it's an absolute game changer. Um, it bypasses the hand controller. You don't have to, you know, sort of put in the time and date and do the star alignment. It skips through all of that and it's really accurate as well. So it's an absolutely fantastic feature. Um, and I'm yeah looking forward to showing you how this all works and how to install it and set it up. Yeah, and the other thing is I've got a uh, modified camera at last. Uh, I've got a Canon 600D and uh, I've got an OptoLong L Enhance filter as well, which is the dual narrowband uh, filter for emission nebulae. So I'm really looking forward to uh, using those in earnest and uh, seeing what images I can get with them. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll crack on with the tutorial now and uh, in the next video, uh, hopefully when we get some clear skies, I'll um, show you how to do this out in the field and uh, how it all works set up. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on with it. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to click on to APT and then click on to the Tools tab at the top right here. And as you can see, um, my camera is the Canon 600D and that's the camera that I'll be imaging with and the focal length of my telescope is 430 millimeters. So uh, what you can do is click on the three dots here and you can click on to the uh, profile uh, drop down here and add a new focal length profile. You can see that I've already created one uh, for my scope. So I've given it a name, the focal length and then you can click save and click OK. When you've done that, you can click onto the gear tab and then point craft. The point craft window then opens and you have to click onto settings here. And what we're going to do now is download the uh, plate solving software. So the plate solving software is called plate solve 2. Uh, and as well as that, we're going to download All Sky Plate Solver, hence the Download PS2 and Download ASPS buttons here. So if you click on Download PS2, it'll open your web browser. Uh, and as you can see, I've already uh, downloaded the software, uh, but I'll just run through it here. So let's go down the page and you'll come to Plate Solve 2 here. So we're going to download Plate Solve 2 2.28, the APM Star Catalog Installer, and the UCAC3 Star Catalog. So I've already downloaded these, and they're in this folder here. So I would recommend uh, extracting these files from the plate solve uh, 2.28 zip to your APT images directory. So we can create a folder in the APT images directory and uh, we'll call it plate solve 2. Now let's open the uh, plate solve 2 2.8 zip. Just close that and then highlight these files within it and extract to the folder that we've just created which is C APT images 
and plate solve too. So they're in there now. So for the UCAC 3PS uh, zip, we can right click on here and extract files. And we're going to select the uh, same directory again, uh, the plate solve 2 directory inside APT images. So we'll just click on here and click OK. And that then will create a subfolder within the plate solve folder and it'll look like this here. So UCAC3PS with all the, uh, the files within that. So the next thing that we need to do is to run the setup APM catalog uh, application. So let's just double click on there. And uh, I think it's a good idea to save this, this particular folder to the uh, APT uh, plate solving folder again. So plate solve to APM and click OK and then click Next and install. OK, and when that's finished, we can click on Finish and we'll go back to the uh, plate solve directory and we're actually going to click on plate solve 2 here the application file and then we need to click on to file and then configure catalog directories so as you can see here um, the folders need configuring but because we've put them where they are, uh, it's automatically found them, so that's fine. As long as the status reads OK, uh, we're good to go. Now we need to click on to Edit Parameters. Make sure that the UCAC3 directory is selected with the radio button. And it's actually recommended to change the minimum and maximum star sizes. So we double each value basically, uh, 12 for the max star size. and 6 for the minimum star size and the rest of the settings uh, don't need changing so we can click OK on here so now we can close this and this window and that window and that one and we can close that as well and we're back to APT um, so what we need to do now is click back onto the point craft settings uh, it should already be open as is here and so we need to click on the uh, tab near the plate solve uh, two path so we'll click on the three dots here and we'll navigate to the directory so plate solve two okay so the next thing to do is to click on the download ASPS button here and that will open our browser again. So we need to scroll down the page to the download link which is here, download all sky plate solver. And it's important at this point, uh, before we start installing ASPS, to close APT. So we're just going to click OK on there, close the program, and we're going to install ASPS. And we can click on Browse here, and then back to the same Plate Solve 2 folder, click OK, and click Next. And we're going to click Yes there, and Next, and then Install. So now we can click finish with the uh, run all sky plate solver checked here. 
Uh, and as, as you can see, it says astronomy.net search indexes not found. Do you want to download indexes now? So we'll click yes. So at this point, we need to know the camera's pixel size and sensor width. So a quick uh, Google search uh, yields these results. So the Canon 600D has a pixel size of 4.30 and a sensor size of 22.3 uh, by 14.9 millimeters. So let's just put that information in. Twenty-two point three, fourteen nine. 14, 9. So we'll just put 22 width, 15 height. So when you've put that information in, it'll highlight uh, the indexes which need to be installed based on the field of view. So we need to install the highlighted indexes and we can do that by clicking on this button here. Click yes on this part. So we can click OK on that bit and then click Done. We don't need to register the installation, so we can just click No. Uh, and we can click Exit on this part here. So now we need to open APT again, um, which I've already just done and we need to navigate back to the point craft settings so it's gear point craft and we need, need to click on to settings and then the three dots here and we're going to navigate to the directory where we installed asps so that's c apt images plate solve 2 Okay, so now we can test uh, this to see if it works. So this is basically how it works in the field. Um, the mount is in the home position, and let's just imagine that we've done the uh, polar alignment, so we're ready to slew to the target. And you can see that we're pointed at Polaris at the moment. So what we'd do is come over here and type in the, uh, the object, so let's say uh, the heart nebula. And then in Stellarium, you would do the uh, Shift-1 command and the telescope would come from Polaris in the home position over to somewhere near the Heart Nebula. But it won't be uh, centred, you know, it could be sort of over here or something, or a bit over here. And this is where APT and plate solving and point and craft come in. Because then we'd go on to APT. So the next thing to do would be to take a photograph of the sky um, you know, where the, uh, the, the telescope's pointing. It doesn't matter whether we're on target or not. Um, you just take a photo, 20 seconds, just as long as you can see some stars. Um, and then let's just imagine that we've done that uh, with the Heart Nebula. So let's use this image. And uh, that's the photograph that we've just taken, uh, let's imagine. Um, so then we go back to the gear tab point craft and objects. Type in the heart nebula, as you can see I've already got it in here, and then click OK. And there are the right ascension and declination values as to where the uh, heart nebula actually is. So then we would click solve here, and if you look at the bottom of the screen uh, it should say solved in a minute. Image solved. Okay, um, so as you can see, uh, you've got the little uh, circle target in the middle of the screen. 
Now we'd click on to sync and as you can see there it synchronizes the telescope position with the coordinates of the image center and if it's not completely on target uh, what you can then do is click on objects here type in heart nebula again or if it's already there just click on to the heart nebula click OK and then click go to plus plus and as you can see that makes a series of go to image solve actions until the scope is positioned exactly on the target so yeah that's uh, plate solving and uh, but basically how it works, um, you just slew over to the target, take a photo and then use the computer to uh, automatically slew over to the target um, and center it. That's all there is to it. Um, really, really simple. There's no need for the hand controller and uh, yeah, it just saves quite a lot of frustration I think uh, because this is uh, really accurate and uh, and as I say, you know, sometimes I've had quite a few nights where I've reset the mount uh, back to the home position and started the star alignment process all over again because some settings gone wrong or the mount, uh, the, uh, the telescopes uh, slewed over to the wrong part of the sky. So yeah, uh, this is absolutely fantastic and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial and uh, um, have learned something from it. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, really appreciate uh, all of the subscribers that I've had uh, over the last uh, month or so since my last video. I think it was uh, 150 subscribers. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and until next time, clear skies.